Hi, this is Kimberly McLaughlin with Facility Information Resources at FNS. I'm going to go through navigating Archivist Web Central with you. We've just got some quick tips that will help you navigate throughout the site. Um, a couple things that we can look at. There are favorites that you can lose to streamline your navigation bar, and there are also some other little icons we want you to be aware of that will help you uh, minimize and adjust your window settings, sort when you're filtering and creating some exports for Excel or PDF uh, and some search features as well. You can work along or go to uh, practice your navigation in Web Central in our training environment. It is identical to our product environment. It, the data is identical. It's just that if you make changes in the training environment, it doesn't affect anything in prod, so you can pretty much do whatever you want. So with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, these navigations. So as you'll see, the difference between prod and training, prod is got the lighter background here, and it will say prod in the project name. And if we go to train, it this says train here. It's train up in the logo, and, uh, and the background is black with blue highlighting on it. So that's how you will know the difference between prod and train. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. The first thing I want you to notice is up in the right hand corner, you've got a user menu here. You press on that. This will show you the role that you're currently logged in as. So right now we're logged in as department space. The only other thing in here that you would pay attention to is that you're in the train environment. And then this is would be your logout option down here. Right. So this is the left side navigation here. Down at the bottom, this is that arrow that I told you that you can use to minimize or widen this navigation here. A um, couple things. Everything that you can view will be listed under space inventory. So these are all the different views. This also here to, tells you what role you're in. So right now we're looking at department space again. And these are all the different views that are available for department space role. In addition to that, you can do a search. So let's say you want to do make uh, space changes. Type make and that would bring up your make space changes view which you can click on and come right to that. Now we also have here favorites. Right now I've just got one favorite in here, but let's say I make a lot of space changes and I want to add that to my favorites. All you have to do is click on the star with the plus sign, add to favorites, click on that, it'll turn solid, and then that will automatically show again in your menu. If you want to take it out of your favorites, you can remove it, click, Select Remove, and that disappears from your Favorites menu. While we're in Make Space Changes, this gives us an opportunity to look at some of the ways we can um, optimize our screen. Real Estate by closing the navigation down at the bottom with the blue arrow. We can also use these 10 little, 10 or 12 little gray dots to in, this indicates different windows so we can maneuver and then we've got one here so we can change that vertically like that so let's just say we want to make a change of building 1206 12, you can type in your building here or you can click on the three gray dots here select value that'll list all the buildings that are available just as they're listed over here if you wanted to just isolate the buildings that start with one there that is and then to select something in these uh, drop downs wherever there is alphanumeric characters if you hover over that and it gets a underline underneath it that means you can select that so we can select that there and then you would hit show because you want to show the floors. So everything is based on a floor plan view. So let's say we want to look at floor number one. This shows us our floor. So again, I don't need this now because I already know uh, the building I'm looking at. So I'm going to double click to make that bigger. And then I can double click on here. 
to make that smaller. So now I'll, if I double click here, it'll also give me, I've got pretty much the floor plan is now filling the whole screen instead of just parts of the screen. We've also got some other navigation tools here. Um, those you can learn more about in the user guide. Um, you can make the, the text a little bit bigger if you want, uh, make it smaller. All depends on what you're trying to do in each of the different views. Um, all the views do have different features in them, so uh, you will see different items. Let's say you had a long list of uh, divisions here and you just wanted to pick one. You could easily type in the, the division, hit enter, it'll bring up that division. Then to clear that, you would hit X there. Uh, you can also use these little arrows to sort ascending or sort, sort descending. Clicking on it will change it and tell you which, which way you're sorting. Uh, in this case, a report will generate a PDF. Once the job is completed, it will underline the characters in this file name here, at, the, at which point you can click on that and it'll open up your PDF there. So now we're gonna go back, listing all rooms. So this has all the rooms and all the buildings that I can see. So let's say I want to find out where all of the conference rooms are. You use the search here, conference, hit enter. And now it's going to bring up anything that's got CON in it. To search for just conference rooms, type in conference, hit enter. Now it has all my conference rooms in here in all the buildings that I can see. So now I want to export this data. You just hit XLS. And that will export to a handy dandy little spreadsheet that you can use to slice and dice your, your data. That is just a quick overview, like I said, of some tools that can help you navigate through Web Central a little bit easier. Um, if you have additional questions, there's information in the user handbook, or um, you can look at some of the other videos that will be available. Again, use our train environment to practice any of these, uh, mess around and, and figure out, you know, what views you want to set up and, and what works best for you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.